welcome back to another video. My name is Brooklyn and today's video is a reading vlog. This is my start of October reading vlog. I'm very excited to be in October and oh, the first book I'm going to be reading is God of Wrath by Rena Kent. If you have seen me talk about this series, you know that I'm obsessed with it. And this is the third book. I've been slowly reading them because they take a lot out of me. Like mentally, I need a break from them after I finish them because they finish me more so. Uh, yes, yeah, so <laughs> I wanted to vlog me starting the month off strong. I'm going to go have a nap though <laughs> because I'm so tired. I went for a job interview this morning and I don't know. I'm just not sure how it went. I really hope that it went well, but yeah... I don't know, they just threw me off with the type of questions they asked. I was like so prepared and then I just got thrown off. So I don't know how it went. I just don't want to think about it. Just put that out of my mind. Yeah, I'm going to like chill now. I just filmed a video. So I'm going to go lay in bed, maybe watch some YouTube and maybe start God of Wrath. But I wanted to chat with you and tell you that that's what I'm reading first because yeah, I'm excited. I'm in for a good time. I'm pretty sure this one follows Jeremy and Cecilia. That's it. That's all that's happening. I have nothing else to report on as of yet, but stay tuned. I will update you as soon as I've actually read something. Hello. I have been reading, if I can pick it up, God of Wrath. And I'm obsessed already. I'm, let's see, I, can, I can't hold my Kindle today. 13% in and I feel like I'm reading it very quickly. I'm very excited about this one. We've already had a really fun time to begin with. We're up to Jeremy's first perspective and I was right, was Jeremy and Cecily, Cecily, how do you say that? I don't know, I need to look that up. Um, but this is gonna be another good one. One of the kinks in this one is Cons non consent consent uh so that's like a hard one to face i think like it can be very yeah like it can it can get a bit interesting and a bit on the real darker side but i think for me i enjoy that um because like she is consenting to it they have a safe word and it's agreed upon beforehand um so i like that and i like how they're like enemies and i like how the timing of this one i think is somewhere before the end of the last one i know that anyway like it might be around the same time but i'm not too sure uh but yeah i'm gonna continue reading tonight because i'm feeling the vibes um, as you can probably hear, Owen is chatting with his friends on PlayStation. So while he's doing that, I get to read and I'm in for a fun time, I think. So yes, and I've decided I'm not going to uni tomorrow because of this book. <laughs> no, I don't want to. <laughs> Just basically, I don't want to go to uni and I don't want to drive two hours there, learn nothing and then drive two hours home when I could be doing my assignment that I'm supposed to be doing for this course anyway that whole time so whether or not I do that assignment it's just logistical logistically better for me to stay here um so yeah that is currently the the evening it is 11 p.m but I am feeling excited about this book now so I don't know if I'll be able to sleep uh, which means that I can just continue reading it and I don't have to be up at any time for uni. So, yay! <laughs> Hello. I haven't updated you since yesterday, but I have been reading and I am obsessed with this book. Jeremy has my heart completely even though he is horrible. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but it did. 
Um, so I am, oh, I am like 70% of the way through. I've been binge reading this nonstop. Like I physically can't stop reading it. Yeah, I'm 75% of the way in. I'm really hoping to finish it right now. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. In between me reading that, binge reading it and doing uni, which I have been really neglecting because of this book. I blame you fully, Rena Kent, for making these characters the way that they are. Um, I have started and finished A Psalm for the Wild Build, which I listened to. And this one I really enjoyed. I gave it four stars. It's not something I would normally pick up, but as I continued to listen to it, the more I enjoyed it. And it really had some some good ideas in it and good reflection and I just that's what I tend to have I don't know usually with sci-fi things like it wasn't too sci-fi but like urban sci-fi if that makes sense I don't know I don't know what I'm saying I don't read it much but um yeah I did enjoy it it's just not something I would normally lean towards and I can't read too many of those types of books together otherwise I get sick of them and I feel like they can be very repetitive but um, having a human and a robot interacting together learning about each other and the meaning of life was also talked about a lot which I really enjoyed those like reflections and thoughts on that type of stuff about what is my purpose in life? Do I need a purpose? And the robot and mm. he monk, which I thought was just so cool, um, was an interesting dynamic. So I enjoyed it very, very much so. And I will be listening to the second book as well. Um, but yeah, enjoyed that. But now complete opposite. <laughs> I mean, I did want to say this in my TBR video. Most of the books that I'm reading this month are unintentionally to do with religion like in the titles of them we've got psalm we've got god um, i'm reading priest later in the month why did i do that i don't know it was very unintentional i'm not even that religious <laughs> i can't be religious after i'm reading this i think um but yeah just wanted to update you, give you a little inside to how I'm feeling, what's going on. I'm wearing my Hannah Montana shirt, so things are looking up for the rest of the evening. Um, but yeah, I shall update you once I'm finished this book because I, these two, obviously we've had a lot of trauma happen to our main character who I'm now calling Cece because I've given up trying to pronounce her name. I don't know why it's so hard for me. It's a common name. It's a lovely name. I don't know how to pronounce it. Let's move past it. Cece is wonderful. I do really connect with her because she is a psychology student and she loves to read um, and she loves to wear graphic tees. So yes but she has a lot of trauma and like sexual trauma and um jeremy is the first one to really notice the signs of that and i love those interactions and i love her coming to terms with her, her kinks and how he introduces that to her in such a way and the fact that he has had this same kink his whole life and he's so out there. I don't know if you'd say out there, but like he's had sex before. He's sexually experienced, but he's never acted on this kink before until her because he never trusted anyone to do that to. So that was incredible. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the one thing that is interesting about these books that is different to a lot of other books that I read is the fact that these men are like morally black um, and they're not going to get any better. Like they do have redeeming qualities and they're not complete psychopaths, but 
they may be sociopaths <laughs> um, and they may have a lot of things wrong with them and it's not like they meet the girl and they're all better and they're like never gonna kill anyone again because this man is like gonna be the head of the mafia so that's not happening um but it's a little bit like that where they're like I hate everyone except for you it's a bit like that um I think it's a bit easier with Jeremy because you do see his relationship with his sister and how protective and loving he is of her uh, so he does seem a bit more human than the rest of them, even though he's, can be horrible. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I just love this. I don't know why I feel like it's, I morally get a bit fucked up when I read these because I'm like, what am I, why am I enjoying this so much? But it's fiction. It's okay. And, you know, some morals are meant to be broken meant to be bended and twisted so it's fine um but yeah i'm gonna continue reading I'm really excited and yeah i will talk to you soon can i just say nikolai is so fucked like hilariously i need his book i don't know if we get one of him but oh my goodness <laughs> she says uh i Walked in on Killian and Glynn making out in the game room and then on Nikolai floating in the pool wearing nothing but boxes. I thought he was dead, so I frantically called Ilya, Ilya uh, over, but it turns out the incident was normal for the guy. Hello, I'm in the same spot with the same shirt on as last night, but I have an iced coffee because it is morning. I stayed up until 3.30am last night to finish this book and I did not. I left it at 5%, which is just horrible. So I'm going to finish it right now. Thoughts are that I am obsessed with Jeremy. I love this side of him. And I also loved the conversation that happened between him and his dad. Like that was amazing. Best. So I can't wait to read the parents' books because I know I've done it in the wrong order, but that's fine. Um, but yeah, I don't want this book to finish because I am so obsessed with this um yeah love it plot wise though the books have been kind of similar with the things that happen at the end like it's always like the girl does something wrong and then these guys that nothing faces them they get all like upset about it and then they have this big fight and then they go off and then something happens to the girl. Like she gets in danger or something. And then the girl is like, no, I don't want anything to do with you. And then the guy has to like chase her and win her back. I feel like that has been the same throughout these three books. Similarly, I feel like the last book was very different because he literally kidnapped her. <laughs> um, but... Yeah, I feel like I don't care. I'm just obsessed with it and I'm loving every second. So I'm going to continue loving every second and finish this. And I feel like I'm about to ruin my entire TBR and just read the rest of this series this month. We'll see how that happens. But yeah, I'm going to go to reading because I'm very excited about it. Hello, peoples. Guess who started another book? <laughs> Me. Um, I did read two other books in between the last time we spoke on this vlog, but that's for another vlog, so I'm not going to talk about them. Uh, but it was Unfortunately Yours and Priest. And yeah, had a great time. Um, but now we're back with my Kindle because I can't get enough of the Legacy of God series. So I'm going to be reading God of Ruin. And this one follows Landon, which I'm the most afraid of. Like, he is messed up in the head. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what to expect in this one. Well, I know there's sonophilia, I think that's what it's called, which trigger warning for philias, I guess. Um, this one, <sighs> I don't even want to say it. Um, he gets off on people being unconscious, like, so that's great. Not. I mean, it just depends how it's done. That's the thing with dark romance. Like these paraphilias and stuff. I can understand some of them. Some of them are like very messed up. 
um, and not okay, especially if the other person is non-consensual. I think in the last book, it was very clear that consent, no consent, consent was like the main thing between those two. And I like how that's specified initially and they're both aware of that. And I think Rena Kent does a good job of like making it somewhat okay, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited about Landon and Mia. Or is it Maya? I keep getting confused between her and her sister. Um, but she has some trauma, which I have come to realize. I'm, I'm already 10% in. I couldn't like help myself, but just keep reading already. Um, and so, yeah, she's got some trauma in her past that has stopped her from speaking. So um, she can hear well. She's not deaf, but she is mute. Um, and yeah she just like had a horrible situation i think she said when she was like eight years old so now she doesn't speak anymore um can't speak or won't speak i don't know um but i'm really intrigued about that and then i'm excited to see if landon learns sign language to communicate with her even though he has like a good read on her already but like i will be obsessed if he learns sign language just to talk to her even though he hates her <laughs> like i don't even know if he's capable of hate he's he's like the biggest sociopath i think i've psychopath he's like a bit of everything i think um i've ever come across so far so yeah let's see how this goes i will be updating you on my worrisome thoughts throughout and yeah who knows how long this video is going to go for i don't know if i'm just going to do i mean we're in week two now anyway i am going off my i'm going off track with my tbr this is not what i'm supposed to be doing but i can't get enough i can't stop thinking about all the characters and to be honest i just want to see jeremy again but that's not our concern. Anyway, I'm gonna unpack the dishwasher and pack it because it's a mess. And I shall see you guys later. The vibes are immaculate right now, guys. Hello, long time no chat, even though I'm wearing the same shirt I've been wearing basically this whole video. <laughs> um, basically what happened was I just forgot I was doing this vlog. That's basically the gist of it. But I did read God of Ruin. That was the that was the one with Landon, is that right? They're all mixing together with the names. Let's check. Yeah, God of Ruin, Landon and Mia loved it. Like really, really enjoyed it. I felt like this one was a little bit different because Landon was a whole new person type of person that we had to deal with and I really really enjoyed it I loved his I don't know I don't know it's just like very interesting and she was very interesting her whole trauma situation was such a good storyline and I felt like there was a little bit more mystery in this one which was nice um and yeah I just I really enjoyed him um their little cat and mouse game was very cute as well uh and yeah i just had like an overall really good time reading this book it was probably my least favorite so far um i enjoyed seeing nikolai getting really angry part about his sister being with someone um i just like couldn't believe the betrayal though that was like a really big thing in this book so yeah that was there was a lot of surprises for me so yeah, still gave it five stars though because I had an amazing time. Um, and now I am reading God of Fury, which is Nikolai and Brandon's book. And this one I am the most excited for. It's everyone's favourite. And so far I'm having the best time ever. I'm 57% of the way through. But I thought I would end the video here because um, basically I'm saying the same things. I'm obsessed with all of these books and this video is going for too long and I didn't mean for it to be like this, but yeah, I've kind of just moved aside all of the books I've read this month and read three God of Legacy books in a row, but that's fine. Um, even though they're like 500 pages each, it's all good. So yeah, I'm kind of like, I'm not in a reading slump, but I just don't want to read anything else. So I had put 
this book down for a little bit to just give myself a break from reading um listen to an audiobook here and there but yeah i'm gonna pick this back up now and finish it hopefully in the next few days but i'm gonna leave it here because i know this will be five stars i'm so excited to see what happens with this because this one is very interesting because it takes place throughout all of the books so we kind of get to go right back to the beginning of god of malice um and yeah it's just like going right back through and we get to we're like following the timeline all the way along so i'm really interested to see that because we've had little glimpses and little snippets of them but it's so cool to see how that has been transformed so yeah i'm really really enjoying this but i'm on sprints now so i'm going to end this video thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed i hope it wasn't too much of god of legacy dark romance books you know that'd be me sometimes um but yeah hope you enjoyed and i will see you on my next video Bye.